All right, the manager at uh, a store that I shop at, um, who sells chicks, took my number down in case they had any that they needed to sell. And he decided that they were not gonna sell chicks anymore. Called me and asked me if I wanted some. So, I mean, I had to buy them, but. I have like 260 chicks in my car right now. <laughs> I told him I would buy them all because I didn't fathom that there would be a hundred. Like, that seemed like it would be a lot, you know? Like, a hundred would be a lot of birds. There's like 260. So, uh, I've got to set the trailer brooder back up. Anybody need chicks? Anybody? <laughs> Okay, this is what I'm gonna be using to try to block in my garden with the little uh, plastic step-in posts. I got it from Roll King. Okay, I just used the little flimsy ones for the strawberry bed. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna plant in it. Um, there's a strawberry. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. And I did them kind of all throughout there. Still got a little bit of room here, but I've got a friend who's going to give me some more. So I'll be able to fill that in. Okay, I took some extra like dirt and top stuff from the strawberry bed because it was really high. Um, I've got my sweet potatoes here, the little um, starts that came off the ones in the house. I have a celery that I kind of started from a store one, like the bottom of it, and it's grown some considerable roots. Um, here's my onions that I ordered, my onion starts, because mine did not do so good. Uh, some red potatoes that have been sitting and growing. Uh, russet potatoes, some more potatoes. These are some golden acre cabbage, um, red acre cabbages that were in the greenhouse. These were the only things I put out there. I honestly forgot they existed. So they don't look so great, but I'm gonna plant them anyways. Um, and here's some more golden and red acre cabbage. So let's get started. These are just the cutest things I have ever seen in my whole life. I have some old hay that I put down and then I shook out those buckets of dirt here and I'm gonna stuff the potatoes all in there. Okay, me and Nolan put the onions in right here. Um, we planted melons all through there. Uh, here, she's okay. Here we've got cabbage, I think some broccoli, some Brussels sprouts. I'm not real sure what all was in that tray. Um, the celery I stuck there. Just trying to take inventory. Um, we're about to plant the butternut squash here. and I think maybe some carrots. I'll put carrots here. Okay, this is first bed, second bed. I'm gonna put mouse melons there, and I'm gonna put these uh, sugar magnolia peas there. And over here, I'm gonna put these lemon cucumbers. This is where we're at. Uh, Boston pickling cucumbers, and then some of the bigger cucumbers, and I'm gonna spread those about halfway, and then the rest, I'm gonna do tomatoes, but not right now. All right, right through here, planted a little bit of iceberg lettuce. Here's my rock. These are like the big double yielding cucumbers. These are the Boston pickling cucumbers. And those are the lemon ones, the little yellow ones. And then these are the trindle peas, sugar peas, whatever, magnolia peas. And these are the mouse melons. I'm serious. Okay. Got some rain today. It's Friday. Um, the strawberries. You can kind of see some of them are uh, perking up. They seem to be really happy. 
what's going on. You know, it's not, you know, ideal circumstances. This is super exciting for me. Um, this netting's not doing so great. Uh, but so far I haven't seen any chickens in here, so. There's the onions. And then over here, celery's not looking too hot, but doesn't look too bad. Um, all the cabbages seem to be happy and Brussels sprouts and broccoli and whatever in the world I have planted. Uh, me and Nolan planted this stuff. I think I said that already. Oh God, it's, sorry. Um, looks all right, I think. At least so far. Um, nothing else would be coming up yet. I don't think there's anything in this part. I know we planted a bunch of melons. Hi, baby. And then we planted a bunch of different kinds of melons there. Onions are there. I think I'm putting peppers here, which means there's nothing here currently. I still got so much cabbage. I think I might just fill this in with cabbage and not plant anything else but cabbage, the Brussels sprouts, broccoli. Like I said, I really am not even sure anymore. We'll find out when it's older. It'd be a surprise. It's probably like all mixed and matched in there. Um, got some hay. Got a partial hay bale over there for them, the one that was in the cow pasture. In case anyone's curious how I get out in and out of here because there's no gate, uh, I just swing a leg over on the short sides, so. Lots of little babies. Um, dark ones. There's some more over there. Are ones that I hatched out. They're Morans. Okay, I uh, weeded my garlic here. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. And I pulled out some of the stuff here. And I'm gonna go give it to the goats. This stuff is purple dead metal, in case anyone didn't know. It's got like a uh, triangular stem. It's edible for humans uh, and animals. It's yellow. Are you crazy? Hello, Mama. <laughs> no babies, way, oh, way back there. Look at my elbow, I'm trying to 